bills, 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 bills. Dun, 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 dun. Are you okay? Destiny's Child. Bills, bills. Who's this guy named Bill? Why is he in my house? So April has told me that she is having flatulent problems and she wants some peppermint tea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll make her a big, big batch of peppermint tea. She's gassy. Well, I haven't officially said good morning, so good morning. It is a little after 10 o'clock. I've been up since about 8.30ish paying bills, as you heard me earlier. I'm just kind of cleaning up my area here because it was a freaking mess. Um, and now, oh, I was editing the video this morning too from yesterday, and I am waiting for it to upload. It says I have 146 minutes, but our video is over 20 minutes long. So, um, another thing I wanted to just talk about is our schedule for our videos is going to be a little bit different. Um, probably pretty much from here on out, it's not going to be a, at a consistent time. I used to have it scheduled at eight o'clock in the morning for the next day the video would go live um, but because of my sleeping schedule being so off I'm actually going to be editing in the morning early morning when I first get up um, I'm going to be doing my editing then and so the videos will go live when they go live um, we're not going to have a set standard time I'm hoping to get them up before noon so just keep an eye out the video should be in your feed before noon um, well, noon Arizona time, so Mountain Standard Time, noon, 12 o'clock p.m. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, just so that I can get more sleep at night and continue to kind of live this healthier lifestyle, because part of being healthy, get good sleep. So we actually got Daily Bird now, and I wanted to show you a little bit about what Daily Bird has. Um, this is actually on our Roku, and you can see, but it's a lot of these programs here, they have a wide variety of things. Um, I'm actually still doing True Beginner right now and I've done half of these right now but the ones I haven't done yet is the cardio kickboxing so I'm gonna start doing my workout and I'm gonna set up the camera and you guys can watch me. That was a pretty intense workout. Um, so April and I have been talking. I think we're going to be doing the uh, whole workout routine that I do with Daily Burn every day that we film. Um, mostly because it's just it's something that you guys have requested that us for us to do workout workout videos. Wow, I'm so tired. I can't even speak straight. <sighs> so we're probably gonna do a little segment each day of what I'm working out with and what I'm doing, what routines I'm doing to kind of get me a workout. Also, this is just good for me to keep track of what I'm doing every day. So, we're going to continue to keep doing this. Um, I think it'll be good for you guys, for me, for April, just to see what I've done. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a segment of workouts videos every single day. So, look forward to them because they're going to come. Thanks, sure I don't have any boogers. I just got over a really huge crying fest. There's my proof, <laughs> my snot tissues. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully I don't have any boogers hanging out. But I've just been dealing with a lot of um, feeling feelings of inadequacy, like I'm not where I'm supposed to be in life. And I have, I don't want to start crying again. 
I have a lot of goals that I think are small, like very minute compared to our long-term goals that Doug and I have. And it just feels like those goals are so incredibly far away. And I've been working so hard to reach those goals that I've set for myself. Losing weight and getting healthy and working on going to church every Sunday. And um, I haven't mentioned this before, but going to church is such a struggle for me because of my sleep. And a lot of people I feel don't understand where I'm coming from when I say, like, I literally sometimes go three, four days without sleeping at all. And then I just crash for like days at a time. And I'm finally starting to get that under control. Um, and, uh, you know, I think my workout schedules and stuff are helping. I, the exercise routines that I've been doing is actually like really helping me sleep at night. But um, it's just a very slow work in progress. And I just have been having all these feelings of I'm just not where I need to be in life right now. And those small, minute goals that I've set for myself just feel so far away from the bigger goals that Doug and I have set for, for us and for our future and our future family. And I've just, I've just, today's been a struggle for me. As you can see, I'm crying right now. But um, Doug just gave me a blessing and I just, I feel, I'm still sad, but I feel kind of at peace with everything that's going on. So, I'm grateful that I have a husband who has the priesthood and can give me a blessing when I'm having these feelings. So I'm going to let you guys in on what's been uh, one of the main worries that I've been having for school. Um, I got the official, unofficial transcripts from um, a straight mountain community college and it looked like, according to that, that I had to take like 15 other classes, which I shouldn't have to take because most of them I already took back in California. So I got a little worried and I had to schedule an appointment, appointment with my uh, advisor which was two weeks in the making. So today I finally met with my advisor and she had said that everything was all good. Um, it just was very confusingly put down on paper. Um, so that's all good. The chemistry was the only issue. For some reason it didn't move over to the right slots, so it still says I need to take chemistry when I don't, because I took three, semest three semesters of chemistry. So that's the only thing that she had to try and figure out why that didn't happen. And as well as my public speaking class that I took in California, for some reason it does not meet the requirements to Arizona's public speaking class, so I need to retake public speaking. It's the only class that Australia was not willing to pay for, so I need to just save the money and pay for that class myself. But other than that, it was actually a lot better than I was expecting. Hello, hello, just got home from the gym and by my goodness, I was supposed to say by golly, but it came out by my goodness. <laughs> I'm tired, can you guys tell? I'm, I'm tired. So um, I actually have a point of positivity, po positivity, I can't even speak right now, I'm so tired, um, to share with you guys. So earlier today, you guys knew I had talked about that I've been struggling with some feelings of like feeling like a burden, feeling inadequate, just not feeling happy with myself and content with things that are going on in my life. And when we were at the gym, there's a girl that comes to the class. She's actually become kind of a friend of mine. Um, her name is Megan. And um, when she walked in, one of, okay, so let me backtrack. One of the reasons why I've been feeling kind of down on myself is the fact that I have actually gained a couple pounds. And I have been working extremely hard to lose weight. Like, day in, day out, going to the gym. Mom and I have been very dedicated to going. I've been doing water jogging at least 30 minutes a day. If you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, you know that I've been working out. I've been eating healthy and I've been gaining some weight and I don't know if it's caused from actually gaining muscle or bloating or I, I don't know what's causing it, but it really got me down today and when she walked in I had a feeling of I don't know what the word is But she is really really heavy like probably 400 plus pounds 
And I looked at her and I almost started crying because I've never been that big. And I, I looked at her and I just felt so blessed to be where I'm at and be able to go to the gym and have the strength to do the things that I'm able to do because I am still big, but I'm grateful that I've never gotten to that point. Um, she's kind of at a point where she can't do certain things because she is so big and it just was a blessing to me today. Just a little reminder of, hey, your life's really not that bad and gaining a couple pounds really isn't that bad. You're on the right track. So that's my point of positivity for the day. Hello. Hello. Do you have one today? Point of positivity. Hmm. I have to think on that real quick. You gave me a blessing. I did give you a blessing. <laughs> that is a point of positivity. And you felt better afterwards. I did. So, power of the priesthood, it works. <laughs> I have a point of positivity. Oh. Positivity. Mom has a point of positivity. Mom has a point of positivity. My point of positivity is April was feeling very down on herself today. And if you cry, you're going to make me cry. Very sad, and she was crying, and um, I let her know that she is really a blessing in my life right now to be able to have her here and have her support and help in helping me to get more healthy and and helping me to eat right and to go exercise and do the things I wouldn't be doing those things and and in the my job in taking care of my disabled husband I really do need that release and I also need to be able to do some things for myself. Well, I was telling you, strong. I was telling mom at the gym, I said, if you're not able to take care of yourself, you can't take care of dad. I mean, that's just the reality of it. You can't. And part of the reason why I've been feeling down is because I just, sometimes I just feel like I'm a burden here. And I'm, I don't know, I guess I just needed the reassurance that we're where we need to be. And mom let me know that today. And it just made me feel that much better. So... Hugs around. Happy tears, points of positivity all around. <laughs> I think we're going to have a vlog. Um, it's pretty late at night. I'm super tired, and we've got scriptures to read. We're doing a 100-day scripture challenge, which is really exciting. So we're doing that as a family, and then we're going to watch uh, Big Hero 6 for family evening. It's pretty late, though, so we better get at that. End the vlog. Say goodbye. Do your little duty <laughs> thing. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Love you guys.